I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you can see, I have a pile of weird stuff here today. I wanted to do something a little bit different and give myself a little bit of a challenge. So I went to a dollar store and I picked out a bunch of stuff that I'm hopeful that I can make a collage with. And uh, the one rule, I didn't want to get any books or magazines because I kind of felt like that was maybe cheating. I use books and magazines all the time, so let's do something a little bit more uh, difficult. Although I did get one magazine um, that I will pull out if I need it. I want to try to do this challenge without the magazine, but if I find that I like absolutely need it and I'm struggling, I'll pull that out. But hopefully we won't need it. So let's take a little tour of all the stuff that I got. It's mostly food. The first thing is this black tea uh, package. So I just love that this image was like completely blank basically. So I could maybe do something inside the tea. So there's that. The next thing is these peaches, which the illustration on the peaches, these are just beautiful peaches. So I don't see why I can't cut out some of these peaches and use them somewhere. I got a good amount of greeting cards. I think these are all of them. Um, okay, this is, I think, a Father's Day card. And I just, the illustrations on here were really cool. I like the beer and the tie especially. Then there's this one. Oh, a couple uh, elderly people. I just thought this guy kind of was had a fun outfit. Um, you know, just thought that could be cool. This lady, I just like, she's giving a very stern face. Um, and I love her outfit too, so I got that. And then what's this last one? Oh, another <laughs> set of elderly people. Um, these two ladies swimming, and I just kind of liked that image. Um, and I thought maybe we could pair it with something. So I kind of wanted to get some subjects out of these cards um, because I thought maybe using people might help, might be a little bit easier to make it more fun. Okay, the tacos. This is the one thing that made me, I was a little bit worried in the store when I was looking around at everything. I was like, am I going to be able to make this work? And then I saw these tacos and these two were empty. So I kind of just figured, I was like, we can put anything in those tacos. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, okay, I think I can do this. <laughs> So I'm really excited for the tacos. I got a good amount of food. Here is this, uh, what is this? I don't know, a chicken pot pie. Well, it's not chicken sausage pot pie. I don't know. But I loved that this thing was oozing out and I immediately thought like we could cut out this gravy section and put something else behind there. There is this giant circle here with text, which is kind of not great, but I don't know. There's also a smaller image of it on the side. So I think that there's maybe potential here. Also, this is a frozen thing, so I took that out. Next food item are these pancakes and sausages. And I loved, I, I don't know, I just feel like th this is a big image and I like that I could maybe put something in the sauce or put something like laying down on the pancakes. I don't know, I just liked this image and I gravitated towards it, so I picked it up. So these balloon sticks, I don't think I need balloon sticks, but I loved this image on the label. I don't know why. It's just like four creepy balloons sit in a row. I don't know. I thought that was interesting. So maybe we can use that. The last thing is these uh, marigold seeds. And I just, this picture, the picture is just beautiful. So I was like, I have to buy this. This picture is beautiful. And that was it. So that is everything that I got. I think the next step is for me to cut everything out. Okay, let's talk about some ideas. And I'll be honest, there aren't many of them. But the first thing I thought when I saw this tea was that we could put these swimming ladies. And wow, they are like the perfect size. Oh my God, they are the <laughs> exact width of the tea. I kind of can't believe that. But that's my very first idea. Where's the pie? Yes, okay. This pie, I think if we cut out the gravy and we put the marigolds behind maybe, uh, that might work. I also think that if we cut out the fence, maybe from around these balloons, uh, we could put something else back there. I don't know. I think that I need to start, those were just like my initial ideas. I think that I need to start really cutting some stuff out and laying it on top of each other. 
Um, that's like my biggest tip. If you are struggling with like what to do with your collage, start actually cutting stuff out and just putting it on top of other elements uh, because then that way you'll actually get to really see if things are working, if the sizing is right. So cut stuff out, that's my biggest tip. <laughs> okay, what is not to love about that? Okay, that is so good. I love this so much. I think that there is something else we can do. Maybe with the foreground, maybe the marigolds get added in here. I don't love this spoon. Um, and I think it's just like adding a weird element. So I don't know, maybe we can add the marigolds in front. I don't know. I think that this is a really good start. Let's put it off to the side and look at something else. Okay, this, this pie looks so silly cut out like this. It's really, really silly. What does this look back here? Hmm. So I was thinking I could cut out one of these flowers a little bit so you could tuck it in and it would cover up some of the pie. But it has to be like the right flower in the right spot so it really you can tell what it is. I kind of like this. It's really weird. It's super duper weird and I'm like confused. <laughs> I'm also not sure like, do I want to crop the edges in and keep it on this background or do I want to cut around it and just have these three marigolds? I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna uh, put this off to the side and work on something else and we will come back to. I think what it's gonna happen is I'm gonna have a few like half things and then we're gonna see how we can add to them after I have like a few half things put together. All right, so I've been doing some thinking and I originally thought that I was gonna put something in the taco shells and have like that thing be coming out of the taco shells, but I think that I realized that this woman needs to be holding this giant taco. I think it will just fit like perfectly in her hand. And I think that the size, the fact that it's a huge taco is a really funny idea. And I think that this will look like her, you know, solemn expression. And then the taco, I just think that this will be really funny. And I'm going to cut her out of this background because I don't need all this card stuff. And I think that is going to work. <laughs> yep, yep, that's it. <laughs> that is utterly ridiculous. Oh my god, I kind of can't. <laughs> so funny. It kind of looks like she's holding a baby. I kind of just, this is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Okay, what is next? Let's pull in, okay, so I feel like we have three good, like I feel like I did a pretty good job with the food packaging and the greeting cards. Like, I feel like we have some <laughs> kind of funny pairs. Um, so I do want to pull out the magazine, the one magazine I did get, and this is a very short magazine, um, because I do think that maybe we can uh, sort of finalize these pieces with a background just to give them like uh, an environment, a place to live. And I think that that sort of might help tie some of these more together. And again, like this, I would love to cover this up. So maybe if we can find a mountain or something, I can stick the cup in. That might be awesome. 
But I think that might just like complete some of these. So let's go digging in the magazine and see if there's anything that we can pull from there. Okay, I think this one is all set. I love the little girl who's like looking up. That's like really subtle, but I like that little touch. And I think that she, <laughs> she looks great just sitting here with her giant taco. I kind of love this. I also feel like maybe instead of this background, we could take part of this bag, which I didn't use any at all, and maybe put that flower behind her head. I kind of like that on its own. You know what? I think I'm going to do this. Ch sudden change of heart. I don't like the... I don't like the this background. I like that her head just fits perfectly. I love that. Okay, and then this will sit on white. I kind of like that idea. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I have an idea that involves this scene, these, the breakfast, the frozen breakfast, and the balloons, and I think I can get the ladies in here too, in the tea, but, oh, the other thing that I thought of real quick is I have tea bags in the tea, and I can take the string and the tag out of this, and so it makes it feel like extra tea tea like which I kind of like that idea but anyway I have an idea to combine all of these and I'm just going to do it because I don't want to explain it I want you guys to see how this develops because I also am not sure if it's going to work but I'm very excited so let me try to see if I can get this to work <laughs> Okay, this is looking good, but the last part is really where the magic is going to happen. Just you wait. I can't. I can't even look at it. <laughs> I made that. I made that. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even believe that this is a thing that I made. This exists now. I just... Oh my god, I can't even... <laughs> it's done though. I love it. It's done. Well, I have to trim, I think, the handle right here. But I think it's great. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Let's bring in... Uh, the lady with the taco because I'm also a really big fan of this. I am like, I think the flower behind her hair actually, wow, it's really cool. I love it. Oh my God. I can't even believe that we made these. <laughs> I can't believe that we made these today. I am like, so I just can't even believe it. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to add the tea bag string. Okay. Let's do that right now. That will be the last little thing. Okay, I like that added touch of the tea bag. I think that's cute. 
Oh my god, I love it. I can't even believe that. I just, I am so overwhelmed. Okay, what was, there was one other thing we were working on. Oh, right. The pie with the marigolds. Um, what do we want to do with this? I think, I think that I should just crop, crop this in tighter, crop off this fold, and we will be done with this one. And I can maybe trim a little bit of the pie. Uh, I don't know. Let's do some trimming and see what we think after that. So this is pretty cool. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I don't usually give up on collages in this video, but I think we're just going to push put this one aside. You know that I made it, but let's kind of stop talking about it at this point. All right, let's bring back in the two that we made that we absolutely love. Well, I love them. Hopefully you love them too. I love how many things I was able to add to this one. There's the breakfast packaging, the tea, which is both of these two the balloon label, and then a greeting card. So that's four things that I was able to merge together. And this one is three, which is also pretty good. So we had the flower was a gift bag, the lady was a greeting card, and the taco was a food packaging. This was such a fun challenge. I was a little bit worried about this when I first decided to do this video. I was, you know, last time I did a challenge, the collages I made were kind of bad, um, but, I was like, let's do a challenge again. It will be fun. And I'm, I am stoked that I made this. Like these both are absolutely lovely. They're so fun. And it was like, took me out of my comfort zone a little bit. Cause I don't usually use food, especially like this. I don't usually use food really ever. I don't really have many books that have food in them. So to get some totally new different things, I think was really fun. And it was just kind of a challenge to, you know, I had to think on the fly in the store to be like, am I, should I buy this? Can I use this? And I used a good amount of things. There's a few things that I wanted to use, like the peaches and the peas, which I'm a little bit sad I couldn't figure out, but I have them now and I could use them in a collage in the future and that would be great. So I hope you thought this video was fun and it just shows you that like, you can use pretty much whatever you want in collage and you can make some really fun, really funny stuff. And it's just a really good creative exploration. I had such limited materials today. You know, I usually have limited materials with my book collection because I really, you know, it's big, but it's not endless like the internet. So uh, this is even a more pared down a selection of things to choose from. And, you know, you can still make some cool stuff. So I'm very happy with how these turned out. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. And I will see you next Thursday for another collage video. Bye. Thank you.